Greetings, Scorpio. Come on in here. This is your weekly reading for the week of March 10th through March 16th. Welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. I read intuitively, so please remember to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. We're going to pull some oracle cards and get clarification from the tarot. I've already blessed my decks. Let's get started, Scorpio. What does spirit need you to know? All right, Scorpio. Super fiery, right? Let's see. A couple of oracle cards for your overall energy and guidance. And tarot to give us understanding and clarification. All right, let's see. What does spirit need you to know? River of blessings. These, wow. And sacred gratitude, river of gr blessings and sacred gratitude. <sighs> Beautiful, love this. This is the um, Priestess of the Light Oracle deck. River of blessings, releasing constraints. So, Scorpio, with this card, take the limits off of yourself. Take the limits off yourself and let's go to the next level, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting for you, okay? And then with our second oracle card, we have sacred gratitude, reverent appreciation, and prayer. Reverent appreciation and prayer. What I'm getting for this for you, Scorpio, is being sure to live a life of gratitude every day. Gratitude brings you freedom. Gratitude can change the situation. It can shift somebody's day all because you live a life of gratitude and it shifts your day and changes your day. It brings you freedom, right? Reverent appreciation and prayer. So what I'm getting is always live with gratitude, operate with gratitude daily, even in the tough situation, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting for you. Let's see what the tarot will bring to us. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? Do tell. Mm -hmm. Is that one of them? This feels like one of them. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here we go. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? All right. I'm going to cut. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Coins. Okay, Scorpio. Let's get into it. So, releasing constraints. Take the limits off of yourself, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting for you. Take the limits off of yourself. And then here we have the Nine of Wands showing up for you. You are more resilient than you understand. I f that's what I'm feeling. Scorpio, you are more resilient. You are stronger than you believe. You've been through some things. And it may even feel like, what more am I going to go through? Is there something else? I don't know if I can do this. Well, Spirit is letting you know you are resilient. You have grit. You have what it takes. Standing your ground. Creating those boundaries that are necessary. But also, take the limits off yourself. Understand you are stronger than you believe. You are more resilient than you believe. Scorpio, take the limits off. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. This is for you, Scorpio. It's pointing to a decision. A decision to be made. And also trying to find a balance in what you have to make this decision over. A decision with your job, perhaps. 
something's going on with your finances, Scorpio. And it's like, I can do this or I can do that, but I can't do both. And I also want you to understand there might be another option for you that you just don't realize right now. Scorpio, take the limits off. Look a little further. There could be more than just this or that for you. And the reason I say I feel like this is concerning finances or career is because the seven of swords is coming up. And I feel like you're looking at your banking statements, Scorpio. You're looking at your banking statements thinking, how am I going to do this? I don't know if I can get this done. I don't know if I can pay for this. Take the limits off yourself. Your resources are available even if you can't see them just yet. Even if you can't see them just yet. Because in the Tour of Swords, her eyes are closed. And so she can't see with the natural eye. Scorpio, you need to see with your mind's eye, right? Let's get some more clarification for Scorpio. You are more resilient than you realize. Take the limits off of yourself, Scorpio. Release those constraints over your own life and your abilities. I got two cards here. The devil and the tower. Mm. Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? One more. Okay. For Scorpio, the devil. So there is some sort of, you're feeling like you're in bondage. You're feeling like you're in bondage. You are you feel like you are constrained by your own finances, Scorpio. And a change is coming. A change is coming. Somebody is going to help you, Scorpio. A change is coming, right? This is the change. This is the thing with that. You were analyzing your finances, but that is about to shift in your favor. When there's the tower coming up, that means a change is coming. And there's also the opportunity to get it right, to get something else done. Okay, Scorpio? Change is coming, and it's coming in your favor is what I'm getting. And then that change is coming swiftly. That change, that help, maybe there's some sort of organization or service out there and it's coming swiftly to help you. Unlock your limiting beliefs. Shift your mindset. Thinking that you cannot make it through this, you absolutely can. Your resilience is enormous. Your strength is at an all-time high for the sacred gratitude and living life with gratitude constantly daily you got the four of swords the five of swords and the queen of swords a lot of mental energy going on here with the four of swords you're working extremely hard because you do appreciate what you do have. You do appreciate the job that you do have, Scorpio. So you're working really hard. But Spirit is saying, take a break. Take a break before you burn out. Yes, you are resilient, but you're not a superhero. You are still a human being and you still need time to rest. Okay? Then we have the Five of Swords. There is some sort of tension. And I believe that tension is surrounding your funds. There's tension in the home over the funds and what you're going to be able to do. And it's okay. It's okay. Spirit's got something for you because here Spirit has sent in the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords has focus and clarity. You will come, it will come into focus on what are the next steps for you, Scorpio. Because you do live a life of appreciation and life of gratitude daily and you, you work hard. Queen of Swords is showing up to give you focus and clarity on how to handle this whole thing. Seven of Wands. The sun, come on, and nine of pentacles spirit is showing up and telling you, Scorpio, hold the line. Hold the line. Don't give up just yet. 
stand firm because your victory, your health, your vitality, your joy is on the way, Scorpio. Your joy is on the way. And here it is, nine of pentacles. You were looking at how am I going to do it? How am I going to make it through the end of this month? Do I have enough money for this month? It's too much month for the money I have. But spirit is telling you victory, the nine of pentacles, the sun, victory is coming. Contentment is coming. The fruits of your hard work, you're working your tail off. You do need to rest, but the fruits of your labor are coming straight towards you with abundance, with contentment, with joy, with happiness, with wellness. Do you understand what's happening for you, Scorpio? This is absolutely for you. I There's nothing else for me to tell you. Spirit has told you everything you need to know. I hope this has resonated with you deeply and it helps you on your journey this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.